Hello, I'm Galactic and I've made five simple bedroom ideas you could easily make. The first bedroom is a medieval styled, a sort of wealthy upper middle class house. The room itself is made from a mixture of stone bricks, andesite, normal stone, and at the back there's a small terracotta wall to provide a contrast to the stone and the wood. On the right, I've added an arched window to provide natural light since the medieval era electricity didn't exist, so there was a heavy reliance on natural light. The main dominating feature is the master bed, with a frame made from spruce stairs and birch fences. The roof is made from composters, with beams running across as support. The other lighting apart from the natural light is these lanterns, which I have one in each corner. Other features of the room include plants, armour, a desk with a book, storage on the wall and a comfortable woolen carpet. And we can't forget the notebook for playing snazzy songs. The next bedroom is a modern theme. Instantly hitting you is the overall colour scheme of black and white. Everything has a straight edge to it and has a very clean surgical feel. The walls are plain white concrete surrounded with black pillars. On the left wall I added some shelves with some chests. Uh, in the middle is a wide but very low uh, bed and on the right wall I've got a very modern TV with a bit of spruce to add a little bit of contrast to the black and the white. As for the lighting I have relied on end rods on all the corners of the room and there are actually sea lanterns underneath the bed here, here quite hidden and at the top I've piled some snow to make a little slit here to let in the light from the sea lanterns behind. Also quickly to mention are the paintings on the wall which I have added just to give the walls some life. I can definitely see this has some sort of apartment block. So that was the modern theme. My next theme is a late 20th century bedroom. Very flashy colours. There's a lot of warm colours in this room giving it some pow. The walls are made from terracotta with a band of yellow. A nice little detail you could add, uh, quite small and simple, it's a tripwire hook which sort of resembles a coat hanger. Next to it I have a small little desk here with some chests and a plant. Um, there's also a small little chair made from just signs and a staircase. In the centre I have a wide low green bed surrounded by two glowstone lamps and since reading was probably a large source of entertainment, two bookshelves. This little loom here represents a radio. And on the shelf here, there is a dragon egg and wood to represent a little lantern. Oh, I almost forgot, on the roof I have a spinning fan made from pistons and quartz slabs. So yeah, that's the late 20th century bedroom done. This bedroom here is the abandoned cellar, somewhere where I would not want to sleep. There's really not much in this room furniture wise, but check this out, we have some massive gaping holes in the walls and the ceilings. Laying in some natural daylight and of course some rain which we can see in this puddle here. Everything in this room is very messy so we have lots of holes in the ground, uh, rocks which I have used as buttons here and lots and lots of vegetation. For storage we have an old chimney with a small minecart chest inside. Now to the thing that makes it the bedroom the bed, no it's not a grand bed like the others, it's a small little rug on the floor. Um, it's like so. There's also a small little lantern beside it just to provide a little bit of light at night. This is somewhere where I certainly wouldn't want to be sleeping at night. My final bedroom. Woo, this is the garage. Do not fear, there is a bed in here cleverly hidden under the bonnet of the car. To get into it all you need to do is click on the bed and to get out just use the ender pearls in the chest here. The walls are made from stone bricks, polished andesite and a band of yellow terracotta. For the roof I have ordinary stone with some sea lanterns covered in iron trapdoors giving the room some light. And on the right wall I have some chests resting on some quartz slabs, smelter, some scaffolding, 
and an anvil to create an impression that this is a functional workshop. The floor is made from cyan terracotta, in fact, overall I've gone for a very dark colour scheme, which makes the garage seem quite cold. I also have these weird robot things I just added for a decoration made out of observers and a few bits and bobs. And that is all the bedrooms I've made for you today. I really hope you have found this enjoyable, or if not, at least useful. Sorry for the long delay in uploads, it's been a manic time. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!